Today we are going to see a poem All the World's a Stage written by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright and an actor who was considered as England's national poet. All the World's a Stage is a speech taken from his play As You Like It wherein the seven stages of man have been described. Here the world has been compared to a stage where a man comes and performs. Now let's see the explanation line by line. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. This means world is a stage and all the people are just performers or actors. They play their role. They have their exist and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. These lines suggest that people are born and people die they have their exit and entrance means they they are born they die but one person plays many roles so the poet says there are seven stages in a person's life next line his acts being seven ages at first the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms so the poet is telling about the seven stages here comes the first stage Now let's see the first stage what he says the first stage is that of an infant who is crying and throwing up in his mother's arms a baby nurse here means a mother taking care of the little one you've seen babies at this stage they are without teeth without taste without vision etc so this is the first stage now next lines then the winning school boy with the sashel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school okay the second stage is that of a school boy who is forced by parents to go to school but he doesn't want to in the morning the school boy is dressed very neatly who is moving very slowly okay is compared like the movement of a snail who is you know forcefully who really doesn't want to go to school so this is the second stage where he is a school boy let's see let's see the next lines and then the lover sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow okay in the third stage now that little boy who was a school going boy is now comes in the he is coming in the adolescent stage that means he is no more a child now he is in the form of a lover he is completely in his emotions who loves his beloved immensely He writes songs in praise of his lover's eyes or eyebrows and sings songs again and again and burns like a furnace. So this is the third stage. Next lines. Then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation. even in the cannon's mouth and then the justice okay next is in the fourth stage the fourth stage now a person is becoming mature he becomes a soldier a bit aggressive you know he becomes aggressive that means he is like he is ready to take up any challenge he is full of oath bearded like a leopard pard means a leopard and he is jealous suppose wherever his honor is concerned he is more concerned about such things he is easily getting into fights and he has ambitions in his life he has goals in his life and he is ready to even endanger his life for that he is even more considerate about his reputation so this is all about the fourth stage let's see the next lines seeking okay and then the justice in fair round belly with good cap and lined with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances so he plays his part so in the fifth stage now the soldier now turns into a middle aged man and becomes more mature he is strict he is formal and he has a lot of knowledge he has many opinions to give okay he gives modern examples he has beard of formal cut and has a fair round belly next the sixth stage shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons 
with spectacles on nose and pouch on side. His youthful hose well saved a world, a world too wide for his shrunk shank and his big manly voice. Okay, so now this is what turning again towards childish treble pipes and whistles in his sound. Okay, this is all about the sixth stage now where the man shifts from the middle age to the old age. He becomes thin, wears loose pants and slippers. He has specks on his nose and he keeps a pouch. So, he is becoming now a little more matured and he keeps a pouch by his side. The socks now have become loose which was once in a very good fitting. His legs have become thin. His voice has also become childish which was once very loud. Now, when he speaks, now there are whistle sounds heard. So, this is about the sixth stage. So, let's see this last stage. Last scene of all. That ends this strange, eventful history. Is second child is second childishness and more oblivion? Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. The last stage is that which ends this role of life. Man becomes very weak and enters his second childhood. He is again without teeth. Sans teeth, sans taste means he is without teeth without taste, forgets almost everything. Now the drama of life is over and he leaves the stage of this world forever and ever. So beautifully, all the seven stages are explained, you know, very, very nicely. Like the first stage is that of a baby, second is of the schoolboy, third is of the adolescent stage, fourth is of a soldier, fifth is all about the middle-aged man, sixth is now he is becoming a more mature person. Seventh is he is becoming an old person. So all the stages have been explained. This was all about the explanation of the poem. Hope it helped you. Thank you.